Hi, this is Brad and Nick with uh, ProLite Gear here, and today we're going to be talking about the Jetboil Sumo stove. Uh, it closely relates to the MSR reactor stove as far as weight and size, uh, just to throw that out there. <clears throat> we weighed everything here uh, without the canister, without the water, definitely without the iPhone. Uh, lid, stove, pot, and cozy come in at 416 grams, which is about 70 grams less than the MSR reactor, which is pretty pretty significant. Uh, this is the titanium version of the stove, not the aluminum version. This is the aluminum pot titanium stove. Uh, so it's going to save three quarters of an ounce somewhere in there. And this one is uh, Nick's personal stove, so he's actually removed the piezo just to make it a little bit lighter as he carries it. Uh, we're going to go here. We've got 65.4 degrees on the liter of water that we have up here and we're going to add that to the stove. It does have a fill line in it as well. Uh, it's a one liter max fill. It's kind of like looking into a dark cave right now. You really can't see anything but I swear it's there. Again, we're using a 211 gram full canister. That's including canister weight. Empty. We poked a hole in the side of this one so it is completely dry. It's 86 grams on the nose. So what we're going to do here is fire this up, see how long it takes uh, the jet boil to get a liter of water moving. Jet boil specs out an average of 4 minutes 15 seconds. We're see if it, we'll see if it hits it and then we'll go remeasure the canister to see how much fuel was used over the course of the burn. Vanna White, I like it. And then to fire this one up, because the piezo is missing, uh, Nick has a method of lighting this thing. I'll let him do it. It's his stove. Yo. And we'll start the time. We'll fire it up here another minute or so. It shouldn't be long. All right, we're approaching a minute 45 seconds, and I think we're gonna leave the camera on for this just because if we keep turning it on and off, we might miss it. Uh, we're gonna give you a quick little look at what the pot looks like at almost two minutes here. That looks like a black hole with a couple small bubbles coming up, but what it looks like, there's a few bubbles coming to the top there, and we'll just let this thing go. It shouldn't have too much longer to, to wait. And this is, this is just like the video we did on the MSR reactor. It, is a, it just puts a smile on your face having water this fast, this hot. Um, I'm usually an alcohol stove user, and I usually have to wait six to eight minutes before water even gets to this stage. So this is, uh, this is pretty neat. Two minutes, three or 40 seconds, roughly. About the same stage, more bubbles coming to the surface. But not a, not a rolling boil to speak of yet. Well, we're approaching the three minute mark, just over, and Coming right up on the MSR reactor in terms of equivalent times, if this comes to a boil here shortly. Still about, you know, in that tepid state. Coming close. Coming right up on the MSR reactor's time right now, so we're just a little bit under in terms of speed and arguably efficiency. Not quite boiling yet. We were able to do it in 3 minutes 34 seconds with the MSR reactor. Uh, we'll see which one's more fuel efficient. Uh, this one has a smaller cook head, so it may sip fuel where the MSR reactor might burn through a lot more of it to do the same job. We'll see that soon. And we also like to note that the MSR states a boil time of 3, three minutes, whereas Jetboil states a boil time of 4 minutes and 15 seconds for this particular stove with 1 liter of water. And we got four minutes, five seconds, and it's boiling. Yep, that's that's good. That's it right there. And with the off switch. Beautiful. There we go. 
we are at four minutes six seconds so man jet boil was right on the nose that boil time even a little bit under uh, we had a little bit longer boil time with the MSR reactor but this is incredible we're gonna let this thing cool off a little bit sorry I was shaking the camera there and we're gonna go measure the efficiency where we measure the weight of the canister and see how much fuel is used that was neat alright with the jet boil we had a boil on a liter of water at four minutes six seconds and that's at roughly an elevation of 4750 feet so I can see why we may have boiled a little bit faster than uh, jet boil specs because we're a little bit higher up full canister weighed 211 grams after one liter of water was boiled you just saw it weighs 202 grams with a total of nine grams of fuel to boil that liter of water so an incredibly efficient little uh, little stove system and for all of you that want to do the math out there 86 grams is the dead empty weight we've punctured this one 211 is the full take 211 minus 86 and that'll leave you with the amount of fuel that's in there and divide by nine and that's approximately how many meals you can get out of a excuse me uh, four ounce fuel canister from uh, from these guys Nick's actually just did the math real quick. Well, approximately 13.8. So that's 13.8 <laughs> liters of water. And normally you're not making a liter of water per backpacker's pantry meal. Normally it's like two cups of water. So theoretically you could multiply that by two. And that's how many meals you can get out of uh, a four ounce canister. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call at 406-582-0508 or email us at customerservice at prolightgear.com. Thanks and have a good day.